Hello guys, welcome back. So welcome to quick project where you can find project very quick. But so today, I mean, in this video, you're going to see a project called inventory system or inventory management system, which is a DBMS project, a database management project, where I'll show how this project works. And if you want this project, you can go to the description or you can mail us regarding this project. Just uh, put a subject as inventory system DBMS. That's it. And you can mail us or you can uh, contact us uh, through our website. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, all the link will be in the description. All right. Well, so let's see how this project actually works. First of all, when you start this project, you'll see something like this uh, inventory system and you'll get three options admin, customer, and exit. So first of all, I'll go to the admin option. So admin option and here admin will get a login over here. All right. So as of now, I'll enter a login. I mean, username and a password. Done and login. So yes, I have successfully logged in. So when you log in as an admin, admin will find two options. First thing are the two tab. First thing will be view transaction and products. All right. So here, what is product is admin can able to add new products to the system. All right, new products to the system. Well, so here, as you can see, I have already added few uh, products like based on the category, all right? So before that, let me see, uh, okay. So it's like a category, all right, it's like a category. And yeah, so as you can see here, you can see Dell Lappy, HP Lappy, OnePlus, Lenovo Lappy and A3. So, okay, so we have laptop, mobile and earphones category. So we'll add a new category over here. Before this, let me reset. So yeah, reset button is working fine. So yes. So let me add a new category. So I'll give category as six because here I gave five and product name. Uh, let's take uh, mm, mm, headphones. Okay, some a uh, new product, any gadget product, uh, laptop, a oh, monitor. Okay, let's take a monitor uh, which belongs to a category called computers. So let's give. Uh, Dell monitor and product price could be uh, let's keep around like 15,000 15,000 quantity in the sense I'm adding this product to the system so how many quantity I bought to my system or to my shop that much quantity I need to enter over here so let's assume we'll enter about 15 okay 15 and category name it belongs to a category called computer all right computer so say a new product has been added as you can see a Dell monitor which is 15,115 computer has been added to the system. So suppose if you need to update the quantity just update over here. So before it was 15 now I'm changing to 13 update and it's been updated successfully as you can see over here and yeah. So view transaction I'll come to this later so for now uh, we exit from here i'll just log out so we have been added a new system called dell a uh, new product called dell monitor so let's buy the dell monitor as an admin okay i mean sorry not admin uh, as a customer well so i'll go for the customer as you can see so when you go into the customer you'll get some this option so if a new customer has been arrived to your shop, so you can take the new customer. So I'll give us customer six uh, and customer name could be like uh, Arun or uh, we'll give as Loki, right? So I'm very big fan of Marvel. But uh, yeah, I will give some random number, it's a random number and address will be of India, all right. So any address you can be over here and save. So that customer will be added. So six has been added. So 
uh, as Loki, I need to buy this product. I mean, buy a new product from this system. So next, so here I can see what are the different products I can buy. So by default, it's showing laptop products, but I want a computer. Like suppose if you want mobile products, mobile, or earphones, earphones, or computer means computer. So this is the product which I have added just now. So I'll just select this. So that product has been selected. Suppose if I want to buy two monitors, I can give the quantity over here. Or suppose I want to buy one means one. Oh, let's take two. Okay. Or for the example, that. So next. So here, uh, yeah. So six loki means our customer. I mean product and the price and the quantity is two. So we can choose the payment method work here, like UPI cash card. So let's give and UPI is the uh, if suppose the customer had made the payment to UPI and see our product price is 15,000 and quantity is two and its total has been updated to 30,000 and let's keep UPI over here or we'll keep it cash all right and save and as you can see our, our customer has been bought uh, this particular product at this rate and the payment method called cash all right so that's it so our one flow of transaction has been completed our customer bought a new product makes a dell monitor so now we'll see we'll go back to home and we'll go back to admin and we'll log in as an admin right now so one two three four five six seven eight nine this is the password i gave over here and log in so i'll go before i have previously have gone for this particular tab now i'll go for view transaction so view transaction as you can see Loki Dell monitor 15,000 the quantity to 30,000 amount I mean total amount the payment method is cash has been done successfully but so this is what our inventory management project is so I think the flow admin is going to add the new products and admin can see all the transaction has been done to his shop and the uh, customer can buy the products and make a payment that's it this is what inventory management uh, system project is uh, if you need this project as i told go to the description description here there i have gave all the details regarding this project and how you can contact us so you can contact us and we'll and if you have any other uh, abstract with you or any other idea just inform us or just mail us we'll uh, come with the project for you all right yeah cool and see you in the next video thank you and bye bye Log out. Yes.